Hello, Cat as parents. Hope you are doing well. So here we have a, another view based questions. So it's a ordering of the sentences, or you can call it as a parajumbled sentence or parajumbled questions or paraformation questions. So the direction points out here, rearrange the following sentences and enter the correct sequence in the box provided here. Well, let's look at the type of the question. So generally this kind of a question asks us to rearrange four sentences to form a coherent paragraph by determining the proper sequence of the sentences. Right. So options, the options are sequences of the four numbers. You can see that four number of sentences. Mm. So which representing the sentences and if you need to see that, we need to put them in a proper order. Let's see that. The first sentence says that he lay on his armor-like back and if he lifted his head a little, he could see his brown belly slightly doomed and divided by arcs into steep sections. Now the question comes out, who is he here? Right. The second one stated, one morning, when Grazier Samsa woke from troubled dreams, he found himself transformed in his bed into a horrible bourbon. Okay, so here we find out he refers to Grazier Samsa, right? So let's move to the next one. So as we know that uh, noun comes uh, earlier to pronoun. So here noun-pronoun relationship approach forms. So we could consider that option two, maybe the beginning one. Look into the option three, his many legs. So his is referring again, Grazier, pitiful thin compared with the size of the rest of him, wept about helplessly as he looked. Okay. So sentence four said, the bedding was hardly able to, ever to, able to cover it and seemed ready to slide off any moment. Now we are sure that here, his and uh, him as well as he refers to Grazier Samsa. So let's look into that. So we could consider option two or sentence two would be the beginning. As sentence two serves as the introductory statement presenting the main character. So it is a introductory statement. Introductory statement. Why? As we find out. So the main character here, Grazier Samsa, right? So, and the central event of the story. His transformation into a horrible vermin. It's an transformation into a horrible vermin. So that you can find out here, uh, which is given in the option two. So in that case, sentence one logically follows. Sentence one logically follows to sentence two. Right. As it describes Grazier's initial reaction upon waking up transformed, um, transformed it transformed, it provides details about the physical state and surrounding, like you can find out brown belly, slightly doomed, and divided by arcs into steep sections. So in that case, those are nothing but called as a physical state and surroundings, giving the reader a vivid image of his of his new form. Right, new form. So now, if you look into that, after this, uh, two and one makes a kind of a pair here. Two and one. Now, let's move to the next one. Next one is called as a sentence three and sentence four. So what one says, one says about nothing but vivid image of his new form. Sentence four, uh, then follows to the next. As we can find out that sentence four comes after sentence one as it elaborates on the inadequacy or insufficiency of Grazier's bedding, right? To cover his transformed body. So in that case, and seemed ready to slide off any moment. So this sentence provides further context about Grazier's situation. And um, you can say that uh, contributes, contributes to the overall, to the overall, to the overall, 
description of its surroundings. Descriptions of its surroundings. Isn't it? Of its surroundings. Surroundings. So, in that case, you can find out the sequence should be should be you can point out two, one, four, and definitely the sentence three would be the concluding one. As you can find out, it is the concluding, concluding sentence as the paragraph by describing Gregor's helpless state. So, helpless state, helpless state as he observes his thin failing legs. Isn't it? Thin uh, flailing, uh, failing legs. This sentence adds to the, you can talk about uh, uh, portrayal of Grazer's, Grazer's physical, physical condition and emphasizes his vulnerability uh, in his uh, transformed state. Therefore, you can say the sequence is nothing but 2A143. Creates a coherent paragraph that follows a logical progression of events and descriptions. Events and you can talk about descriptions. So, hence you would find out the correct answer is 2143. Hope you understood this. That's all. Thank you.